Hey Joe, it's folks here. This is probably one of the funniest print-on-demand designs that I have ever made. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this inside of Printify. Recently, they launched their custom shape pillows here. I've made a few videos on the channel talking about this product. It is awesome, and today we're gonna do a tutorial and show you how to create your own. And honestly, as I created this, I should have used a photo of me standing up. You can see in this pillow here, while it did print, pretty well. It looks kind of funny. I'm not gonna go into detail on what it looks like I am actually doing because I am actually sitting in the picture and I should have used a standing photo. This here is the photo I took the image from. It's me at the Printify event at their headquarters last year and like I said in this video today we're gonna talk about how to create this. This is a sample that I ordered of this product. In today's video we'll talk about like I said how to create the design for custom shaped pillows and you can see here inside of Printify the item actually ships from China. I'll talk through how long my sample actually took to arrive. And if you need help actually building yourself a print-on-demand store, make sure to check out my POD for Dummies course. It's completely free. It has over 30 videos showing you how to build out your print-on-demand store on Shopify, installing Printify, creating products, and getting started with social media marketing. And like I said, there's a link down in the description. I've also got this custom-shaped pillow here. This is a sample that Printify put together for me. They made this design and ultimately, like I said in today's video, we're gonna jump into a tutorial on how to create these. I recently reviewed this store here that has over 100,000 customers that is selling custom face pillows like this. And like I said in the video, I will show you how to create something that looks very similar to this design here. Inside of the Printify app, if you just search for custom shape, this product will come right up. You can see it right here. The first step of this is you're going to need to actually get yourself a print template for this so you know how big to make your actual design. If we scroll down, you'll see this green button here that says start designing. Once you're in here, you will see some information about the actual product. Right here, it says print area size, 4,724 pixels by 4,724 pixels. That is the size of the image that you need to create to get the best design possible. Obviously, some graphic design softwares might not have images that size. It basically needs to just be a very large square. Printify also has a design template available right here. And right here we have a square that is the size that Printify actually specifies. And you can see my design file here. It's basically just me sitting there and I've added a white border around the entire product. I think that's a key to this. In a moment I'll show you how you could actually do that. I'm using Photoshop depending on the software you're using. You would need to do something different. The reason you would want to add the white border around the entire thing is because if it wasn't there then basically Basically, the shirt on the front would be touching the shirt on the back, right? Adding the white line sort of makes it have a little bit of a division between it, a little divider, if you will, and basically it creates a little bit of a better look for the actual product. Again, I know this design here that I made is hilarious because of the way that it actually came out. That was not intentional. You can see here that this one also has like that white outline around it just to make sure that the pillow is not like super scrunched if the front arm was touching the back arm here, it might not look that good. So whatever you're doing for your file, you should be having some sort of a white border around it. The reason is, is because this file here is basically going to be used to create your pillow. They're gonna take this image, they're gonna put it on top of each other on the front and the back of the pillow, then they're gonna cut out a pillow and stuff it in the shape of your design. I have an example here of another pillow that I created that I really don't actually love how it came out. I think that my white border needed to be a little bit thicker. You can see how this mug here is sort of crunched on the side over here. I think if it had a larger white border, it might have actually came out better. This is a picture of the mugs that I send to students of mine when they hit different sales milestones. This here is the 100K mug, and ultimately I wanted to create a cool pillow of it. I think, again, it probably should have had a bigger border here on the sides. I think the actual cup handle looks quite nice, but overall, I wish I did a bigger border right here. You can see here on this site, they actually don't do those borders like that. I think what they're doing is they're just creating borders that are the same color of the actual pillow. So whatever color is on the edge, they're just kind of extending that. So technically you could do that as well. For example, if I pause the video here, you can see in between her hair on the front and the back of the pillow, they have like that pink color in there and that is just the color of the rest of the pillow. They've just kind of extended that a little bit. For the sake of today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create 
design where we're gonna put someone's face behind this. And then if it was actually printed in a pillow, it would come out like a helmet shaped pillow with someone's face on it. Obviously, if you were creating your own, you would get your image or whatever you're using and you would get it into your template like this. You wanna make sure that all around it is a transparent background. That way, your pillow will print correctly and that way you will be able to have them cut it and have it be in the shape of the actual thing that you're trying to create. In this case, a helmet. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in my white border. Again, depending on what sort of software you are using, this might be different for you. Inside of Photoshop here, this is called a stroke. Now, for size, I'm going to bump this up to maybe like 100, and that'll give us a nice thick white border around it. I might even do 150. And now you can see that we have this border here. If I put a black background behind the actual pillow, you'll be able to see where that border is actually showing up right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically shrink this a little bit because you can see that my border on both the top and the bottom is going off of the design template. We want to make sure that everything fits in here. You can see some transparency on the bottom and some transparency on the top. The next step is to go ahead and get a photo. I just grabbed this picture here because it's the only photo I could find of myself that is sort of a straight on view like this. So I'm just going to go in here and right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting out the photo. If you were doing this with your customer, you would do the same thing. You would basically select all around the actual face. It does not have to be perfect because depending on what you're doing, in this case, putting it behind a helmet, it is going to fit in there quite nicely. From here, I'm just going to copy this. So on my keyboard, I'm pressing Command C. Depending on what you're using, you might want to do the Control copy or something like that. I'm now going to paste this picture in right behind the helmet. I'm going to make it a lot larger, okay? And basically making it big enough so that way it fits behind the helmet. I'm gonna scroll this down so you can see the eyeballs. Now, if I was actually creating this, I probably would try to find a football helmet that does not have a face mask like this because it sort of obstructs things a little bit. And overall, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're using a high quality photo too. This photo here, I think it was actually just like a screenshot or something that I pulled for this picture. So it's not the clearest. Ultimately, you might wanna use a better photo or tell your customers to send you a better photo. And then what we have here is a file that once we save, it, we can upload it into Printify. What I'm going to do quickly is just remove everything outside of the actual pillow so that way my face is not going up above it. I'm going to save this and then we're going to go into Printify and I'll show you what to do with it. All right, so we are back inside of Printify on the left hand side here. We're going to click upload and we're going to upload the file that we just created. You can see now it is loading in here and it will basically take the file that we just created and it will use it for the pillow that we are creating. We now have a high resolution file in here because because we did everything to the correct sizes. You can see up here that you can select different variants. They do offer four different sizes, a small, a medium, and a large, and an extra large. We're gonna publish all four of them. This one here, for your reference, is the small size pillow. As that is loading in, I wanna show you the mockups that Printify actually generated for me for the samples that I was just showing you. We have this one here, and this one here showing the actual product that I'm holding right here. When I saw it like this, I didn't think it was gonna come out as as funny as it actually did. And ultimately, you'll be able to get a mock-up showing yours as well. If you are selling these, what I would recommend doing is creating like three or four of them and actually ordering yourself a sample. That way you're gonna be able to actually take like real photos of the product, just put it on like a white blanket or a colored blanket or a bedding set or something like that. Take a nice photo of it and use it on your store. This here is the sample order that I placed inside one of the demo stores that I use for training. And you can see that I ordered this on March 5th. Fifth. You can see on March 10th, the item was shipped and on March 14th, it was delivered. So what we're talking about here is nine calendar days for this product coming from China, which is actually very good to be quite honest. I think a lot of times people come in here and they see that this product ships from China and they get a little bit alarmed, but you can see here that I ordered this sample. I just did regular shipping. I was able to get a FedEx tracking number and it just took nine calendar days to arrive at my location. And right here is the finished product. Now, obviously, like I said, I don't think this photo is the best. I think it actually kind of makes my teeth look super yellow. So I'm a little bit self-conscious about that. I'm going to go hit up some whitening toothpaste after this. But ultimately, this is what you will get in a, just a few minutes of creating this design that we just worked on together. Obviously, if you were actually creating this, try to find a great image to put someone's face on like I showed you with that other store. They are doing it with chickens. They basically have a chicken image. They are creating a circle in the middle and that's where they're putting somebody's face. They also 
I have a whole bunch of other bodies as well. I actually reviewed this store the other day in a video, so I'm not gonna go through the entire thing, but they do a great job at creating some funny pillows. And ultimately, in terms of the quality of this item, it is a cool little pillow. It is soft. I know you can't feel it in the actual video because you can't feel through the camera, but it does have a nice feel to it. It is kind of like a velvet, kind of like fleece material. The print definition on them is very nice. You can clearly see that on video. And like I said, the sample took nine days. So that's actually pretty good for print on demand, especially seeing that the product is coming from China. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this item. Is it something that you might try to sell? If you have any questions about the design creation process, let me know as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.